is this entitled mindset keeping all women single? Dating pool is not trash, it's just the men you choose are. Not I necessarily. Mean, I think it's both. Most men provide better containment and positive ownership for the cars they own than the women in their lives. A red flag in a guy is when he doesn't pay for your meals. And then why do you think so? I just think that we deserve a little bit better and that my meals should be paid for by my boyfriend. Gents, welcome to TSG Uncut. I'm your host, Sean C. Today, we're going to look at the mindset of some entitled women and how this is a problem, how their mindset affects men and the dating market, and why if women continue this way, that is going to lead them to being single and alone. With that being said, let's get started. Independent women, I make money, I do no, what I need to do, nothing. and men are truly bothered yeah. by it because they want to provide for a woman. What's wrong with that? So when a woman already has everything, oh, that's when they feel intimidated. That's, that's when they feel saying. intimidated. They want a girl that doesn't do anything. You sound bitter. The woman has gone viral because she has a PhD and she took an IQ test next to some guy that she thought was just a dumb rube hillbilly. And the dumb rube hillbilly did better on the IQ test than she did. I'm Tyler. I'm 21. I'm a high school graduate and I work in the Marine Corps. I have my PhD in cancer biology and I work in a biotech industry. One, two, three, four, five, six. To me, I don't know, PhD, cancer <laughs> oh, biology, oh. scientist, oh, I work okay. in a biotech company, we make COVID-19 testing kits, oh, stuff like that. Oh. And then six. It has nothing to do with your background. I don't think you really have the highest EQ out of all of us. So number one is Raymond. Number two would be Kaylee. Number three will be Tyler. And number four would be Shada. Number five is Sean and number six is Maria. The less healthy the personality, the less uh, flexible that it is. So very healthy people have extraordinarily flexible personalities. So the core of mental health is flexibility. It's almost like physical health, right? A person who's physically healthy has a lot of flexibility in their muscles and joints. A mentally healthy person has a lot of flexibility in their psyche. A woman says, I shouldn't have to ask him. He should already know. For example, for example, they've talked about my guy, his job is to take out the garbage. I don't understand why I keep having to ask him to do it. He's not doing it. All right, so... He should just know. He should just know. Yeah. Take out the garbage. Is the problem the garbage isn't taken out or the garbage isn't taken out when you want it done? Mm. Like when you want it to. My schedule. I want it done now. Yeah. Is that the problem or that it's just never going to be done and he'll just stack oh. up 10 bags of garbage all around there? I think it's more of it'll be done, but it's not on the timeline that I made up. That's pretty fair. Or that we discussed. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Fair. And you shouldn't have to explain or talk or do anything because you're the authority now of what time it needs I am, to be done. You shouldn't I am have to do that. I'm not his mother. I just yeah. want him to take you're it out, right. take out the trash. But he should be a mind reader of when that should be done, right? Yeah. Let's just make this fair here. How often do you think he wants intimacy and you don't just do it when he thinks about it? Totally understands she doesn't right. care. A big reason why a lot of modern women are failing at dating and relationship is these high unrealistic expectations they have of men. I say to women all the time that the woman who tries to control a man will lose a real man. Only simps and low self-esteem men are going to continue to put up with bad behavior from their women. Modern women today are trying to bend men to their agenda when the truth is no woman can change a man that doesn't want to be changed. Instead of trying to control a man, more women need to work with their men. Most women don't want to take accountability for how their behaviors are changing the dating landscape and how it is affecting their relationships. What is it about women and accountability to where the two are just like oil and water? Why is that? <laughs> how often do we really hold them accountable? Very rare. So how is that possible? How much money does he have to make per year? At least a hundred thousand. Yes, that's your answer. That's your answer to everything. Going to 50-50 or someone who fully provides. Fully provides. What does that mean to you? That I would have an allowance. How much would that look like for you? I would say like seven thousand, five thousand. Per month. 
<laughs> Stop going for men because they have money. That's the solution to your problem. Why are you so worried about what another woman's doing with her body? What's because if, I, if I'm going to marry you and I'm going to have sex with you and I'm going to do intimate things for you and I'm going to pay for your nails and take you on trips and spoil you and you're going to be my queen. Why the f do I want other niggas inside your fucking mouth? Are we committed? Are you yes, we committed. committed. I just say you're my queen, right? I don't know. I'm single till I'm married. You single till you married. You don't sound like very submissive to me. Do you know how to cook and clean? I do, but my submissiveness is earned. It's not given freely. Okay, so do you expect a man to pay for your bills? You damn right I play it safe. There's a difference between dating and my man, right? Okay. My man has earned my submission. Are you sure about that? What does earn, what does earn mean? Does earn mean like tr transaction? Mm, not exactly, no, but that doesn't mean that that's not involved. Women are less committed to relationships than men. Roughly 70% of divorces are initiated by women. They are willing to throw the towel in sooner. The pattern that I've noticed is like, it's a constant process of emotional justification for their actions without admitting that it was a mistake. I think it's not necessarily because in their heart of hearts they believe it. Yeah. It's because it works. Like every time the cop lets the woman off the hook for the speeding ticket because she's crying, it just trains that kind of behavior in women. The ones who really are standing in a different way, it's that flexibility, right? And you think about it. If a tree is flexible, it'll bend with the wind. You, come with me. I have a surprise for you. Are you ready for it? Yes. Okay, this is for you. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. No. Before you tell me that, no, so... Goodbye. Who equal do you think men and women are in 2024? They're perfectly equal at this point. I don't think that there's a problem with women getting discriminated against. What matters is, are women not getting hired simply because they're women? And I don't think that's the case. Women have been moving up the economic ladder. They're moving up to executive roles at some of these major Fortune 500 companies. There's been a lot of progress for women. And if there's any indication that we're sliding back, obviously I'll speak out again. Against it, but I don't really see that happening. I actually see a different crisis happening that's impacting men that I'm worried about. It's the loneliness crisis. They call it the friend session, meaning that men are becoming more and more atomized. They're lacking any friends or personal relationships. That worries me. Imagine if we took men out of the equation entirely. Oh wait, we don't have to imagine that at all. We have that data. We have the divorce rates for lesbian couples. Lesbians have the highest divorce rates in the country. It turns out that if you have twice the women in a relationship, you also have twice the chance of divorce. Actually, I'll use myself as an example. Like when you look back, you're like, dang, all these complaints and realize you were dating the same person. Yeah. The same person. Yeah. You kept picking the same person. Well, what do women look for? Narcissists can fool naive women. That's why narcissists propagate, by the way. And we know this, but young women are more likely to fall for narcissistic psychopaths. And the reason for that is they can't tell them from competent men. Because narcissistic psychopaths imitate competence. And that's their niche. And so they have a confidence that isn't justified by their ability. But the women check out the confidence as a marker of ability, and the falsely confident can fool them. I like that. We always hear dating relationships talk about through the perspective of what women want. Nobody cares what a man wants in today's society. Modern women have all these expectations of men, but a man is supposed to accept them for who they are. This is not only unfair, but it's delusional. This is why I believe men have it harder than women do in dating relationships today. There's, there's a coldness that you have to accept when you're a man. Only women, children, and dogs are loved unconditionally. A man is only loved under the condition that he provides something. Mating has been consolidated in the worst way. 50 men on Tinder, 50 women. 46 of the women show all of their attention to just four men, leaving 46 men pursuing just four women. If, if mating was a country, it would be more unequal than Venezuela. We have huge mating inequality. And when people don't get together and there's no pheromones and there's no vibe, women primarily try and make very quick assumptions about this individual's ability to garner resources in the future. So what you have is this concentration 
concentration of interest and you're ending up with Porsche polygamy, where 10% of the men get 90% of the attention, which does not lead to good behavior or form long-term relationships. We have to understand that women are the ones who change the dating standards, but somehow men get the blame. We are all dealing with these changes in the dating and relationship market, but nothing will change until women are more realistic in their dating options. Women are the ones who are prioritizing starting families and getting married later on in life, if they decide to even get married. Again, this is the choice that women have made. They hit the wall, some even forgo having families at all, and then they end up regretting their choices later in life. How old do you have to be then as a woman to be considered a leftover? I think around 30, like after 30 years old. But if you're after 35 years old, then just you're out of the market. You know, it's it's more like you don't have to consider about getting married anymore. Just to maybe have a child on your own is the best way for you. That women tend to be happier when they are single. I could have married a lot of the people that I've dated. Okay, I turned 40 this year and I've never been in love. I've never been in a relationship. If you hear something or an update about your ex and it just kills you. Women tend to be happier, ha ha happier when they are single. Struggling financially, being alone, having no one there to talk to as you age, you know, no kids. And I always thought I would have kids. I thought I would be married by now. And now I, the closer I get to it and I'm scared. I don't, I don't know. I didn't think it would be an issue. I'm 32 years old. I'm 53. I would like to think that I'm still young. Right? The fact that you're 40 and single, still with no children. And now you find out that she's eight weeks pregnant. And you so want to feel happy for her. But inside, inside you feel so sad. Ha happier when they are single. I'm in a stage of life where I'm watching all my friends get married and have babies. And you know that at 40, you are running out of time and soon you won't have a choice at all. A large majority of women will be single and childless by the year 2030. And this trend will continue if women allow it. Click this video right here and we will continue to further discuss what is driving this trend and how it will affect women going forward. You won't regret watching it.